Royal Street Band. My aura bright like the morning star, moving fast like the shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. If this ain't no act, I can't play your part. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like a shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. Cause this ain't no act, I can't play your part. Doctor's vibrating higher. I got the heat, I'm on fire. The Empress of the Empire. Goddess of desire. Welcome Taurus, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, what's good, it's November, yep, yep, it's November, yep, yep, y'all ready to see what's going in, what's going, coming in for November, I know I am, okay, this, uh, we're in the middle of a Mercury retrograde phase, guys, so Things could seem a little off. Communication could possibly be a little off. You possibly have some exes that are coming back from X world. You know, just a lot of things that we are revising and looking over. All right, we got the King of Wands one to pop out for you. Some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign, male or female. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? So, um, some of you guys could possibly, you know... Like I was saying, with the exes, the exes are returning, we're reviewing, we're looking over things, we're re revising things in. But what we're going to do is take a look so we can better prepare you for what's ahead, okay? So this is going to be for Taurus 2019 November. Let's go. Keep in mind, guys, these readings are general. They won't resonate with every single Taurus. If it does happen to resonate, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And don't forget to share with your family and your friends, okay? All right, so let's see what messages are there for Taurus. Taurus, you guys, this energy... Um, I was seeing the number three, okay, the number three. Some of you guys may have been seeing the number three, 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 okay? So being that the energy that I'm picking up and the number that I'm getting for you guys is going to be three, I'm going to shuffle three times, okay? And let's see what message um, the universe has for you. All right, guys, bottom of the deck, we have the world, okay? So, it looks like there is a closing of a chapter, okay? Some of you guys may even have been seeing 999, okay? So, there looks like there is possibly a closing or of a chapter, or this could even be um, traveling or, or something being at a distance. This could even be talks about the internet, okay? And then we have the five of pentacles right behind that. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But someone here is feeling regretful, okay? Someone is feeling regretful because they feel rejected or left out in the cold. Or there could possibly even be financial issues, okay? So let's see. It's like your intuition was telling you you were going to regret something. Is what I'm picking up here. Okay, so let's see. We got the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy, okay? Maybe you were being nice. You felt like you were being nice. You did a nice gesture for someone. We got the Page of Cups. Definitely Pisces is energy. And we got the Moon. Most definitely. Some of you guys are most definitely dealing with a Pisces, male or female. In the past, we have you guys coming together, celebrating or hanging out with friends. And lots of attention. Someone here has been getting a lot of attention. Okay. Some victory and success is on um, crowning this situation. I'm pick, I'm really picking up on celebration here. And then we have the Empress, the Mother Energy, okay, the beautiful one, the um, the nurturing energy, growth, okay. 
This is even a birth, a rebirth of some sort, or someone could even possibly find out that they're with child. They're carrying a baby. I see someone, you guys are watching someone, okay? You're watching someone on the rise. Maybe you are keeping your eye on someone that is getting a lot of attention. And you're just trying to, you know, piece the story together or you're trying to figure something out. How they feel, we got the Ace of Wands, okay? So this is a new beginning for them. This is a new start for them. They may be using something creative um, to get this type of attention. Um, but I feel like you guys are like watching. You're watching someone. You you have your eye on someone. You're watching. In your hopes and fears, we got the tower. So you're feeling like you're possibly afraid that this situation is going to fall apart or something could possibly happen out of the blue. But we have the outcome as the hierophant. This is the traditional card, okay? This is the the um traditional way of doing things maybe you feel like someone isn't doing things in a traditional way or you want someone to do things in a traditional way okay let's see you feel like this person is possibly changing okay there's some changes here or you feel like this person needs to make some type of changes okay this could be involving someone in your family that's what i'm picking up and the things that they're saying or things that they're doing is catching your attention. We got the Empress and the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, is energy. Um, but this is most, most definitely passionate energy. This is most definitely... Um, I'm kind of picking up on like someone thinking someone is beautiful or someone is looking at someone in a very passionate way. And you're most definitely watching this. You're keeping your eye on this queen of pentacles. You're keeping your eye on this. This is, this is um, different. This is a very different type read. Okay, but external, they feel as if this is like a grand opportunity, a new start for them. So I'm not sure if you're looking at this in a negative way for them. They're looking at it in a positive way. Because I have in your fears, we got the tower card and the lovers, Gemini's energy. But the lovers card is a decision as well. Okay, the lover's card could be a decision between two people or you could just really love this person and the way that this person is moving is kind of like surprising to you. Okay, yeah, you want this person to start to to go back to something traditional. Okay, like go back to the root, start from, you know, start from um, the beginning. This person could be um, very mysterious now or you feel like this person is like doing things in the dark that you don't know about and you're feeling like you want this person i'm, I'm even picking up like go to church or go um picking up on something spiritual here okay this person could possibly be at a distance from you but you've been holding this back. You've been wanting to say something to this person, but you have been holding this back. You have been holding back what you want to say to this person. You've been holding back. And it's most, I'm picking up that it could be most definitely be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got, I got the strength card, Leo's energy as well i have you guys this energy with this hierophant card which is the card of taurus which is all about tradition which is all about um um doing things in a certain way okay we got the lovers gemini ace of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn ace of wands we got all of the signs here okay but i'm most definitely picking up okay this is um moving ahead this could be a mother figure 
or this could be you could be someone's mother and you're looking back at this situation maybe you're looking at a daughter or a son um but we have the empress card here which is most definitely motherly energy um so you could be looking at a, a son looking at your son or you want someone to be happy but you're most de yeah you're you're watching this person someone is giving you information or you're watching it you're, it's, it's like you're keeping an eye on this person they might have no clue that you're actually watching them i'm picking up that this could most definitely be family yeah you're surprised by their decision and how they're choosing to do things but you most definitely want um some type of new start a new beginning okay i feel like you want to communicate with this person or you want to talk to this person um i'm picking up like on them they may be flirting why is the page of cups here someone is telling you something about someone or you, you're watching them, possibly through social media. Why is the Page of Cups here? Two of Wands. Preparing, planning. I'm getting like trying to be more, trying to be strict or trying to be um, truthful. It may come off. I feel like you really want to say something to this person. You want to say something to this person. Why is the page of wands here? What what does Taurus want to say to this person? Yeah, you want to say something to this person, but you're being cautious and you you want you most definitely want to say something, but your guard is up. You may feel like their guard is up um, because you most definitely want to say something to this person with this eight of wands, page of wands. You most definitely want to tell this person how you feel, but I feel like you're kind of like guarded or you feel like they're guarded. They could feel like you're trying to take their opportunity to shine. We got the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is most definitely like taking something away, taking away an opportunity. So you may feel like this person isn't going to hear you out. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Five of Swords, okay. You may feel like this may bring some conflict between. I'm getting, I'm really more so picking up on family because I have the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. So this is most definitely like a uh, family and children, okay. Maybe you feel like it's going to cause confusion if you say something. They may feel like you're coming off as controlling, okay. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, four of wands. Most definitely, this could be someone that is, this could be a family member or someone that you possibly live with or someone that you're possibly married to. Because I'm picking up on separation as well, too. So you may, you may be separated from this person. Okay, you may be separated. Why is the four of wands here? King of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is energy. But something you feel about this situation isn't going to work. It isn't going to, or it's something about it that you don't like. You don't want it to work. This is, this is odd. And I'm not going to delete this because it may resonate with a few people.
But we're going to pull a few more cards because this is quite interesting, okay? This is in interesting. Okay, so I want to see how do Taurus feel about this other individual? How does this other individual feel about Taurus? And what action is they going to take towards Taurus? So how does Taurus feel about them? How does they feel about Taurus? And what action are they going to be taking towards Taurus in the near future? There we go again with this Four of Wands. Okay, this could most definitely be a marriage, a family um, affair, or, you know, something in that nature. Okay, or it could be about stability. We got the world, temperance, okay? So there needs to be some type of balance. Something, you may feel like something isn't balanced, okay? Something isn't stable. All right, we got your energy as the Six of Swords, their energy as the Queen of Pentacles, and what action they're going to be taking towards you is the Ace of Cups, okay? There's that Queen of Cups again. We got the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so I feel like you're going to continue to move forward. Um, we got the Six of Swords, so this is most definitely moving on, or maybe you're going to decide to accept the situation for what it is. Okay, maybe you'll be, you know... Maybe you're too busy to kind of, this possibly could just be something that you're thinking about or, you know, it's been on you. I mean, you go back and forth about it. It could most definitely involve a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? But maybe you're wanting this situation or this person to kind of like slow things down, okay? How they feel about you, we got um, the Queen of Pentacles, you guys' energy, okay? I'm getting very much so possibly betrayed okay or there they feel like that the, there needs to be some type of ending they also could feel like with this knight of swords energy that there is a lot of like irrational um energy coming from you um and then with this king of swords libra gemini aquarius they could be you know very very stern and kind of like aggressive in their way of communicating towards you okay now, the action that they're going to be taking towards you, we have the Ace of Cups. So, there, there's lots of love and they have emotions for you with that King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. There's lots of passion here, okay? But they are going to be keeping their guard up because they just aren't sure. They're, they're, I feel like they're having a hard time understanding um, what's going on here. Yeah, they... They, with the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands, they feel like they have to make their own decision, okay? They're, they most definitely possibly kind of um, this may decide to block you out and ignore you, okay? Because they feel like they have to make the best decision for them. They're doing what they want to do, and they are making their own decision, okay? There's one path here, and there's one path here, and they feel like they're the only one who can make this decision, okay? They're definitely coming, um, and that's. I feel like that's exactly how they're going to express it. That's exactly how they want to express it if you were to come towards them and tell them how you feel. Because we have this King of Swords here. We know he's he's going to bluntly speak his truth, okay? But I feel like you feel as if, if this person doesn't slow down, that they're going to look back at the situation with regrets. So I feel like your intentions are in the right place, but I feel like this person feels like they they have to make their own decision, okay? All right, so let's go, let's look into love, okay? Well, 
What messages are there for Taurus in love? What messages are there for Taurus in love? Couple more shuffles and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Taurus for November 2019. Okay, so for some of you guys, this situation is involving a lover from the past. Okay, so you have known each other before. Okay, so this is most definitely someone that you have known for quite some time. Okay, this could be someone that you're married to, um, or someone that you've been, you know, been with for a very long time. Okay, maybe you guys have been doing a little bit of flirty, flirty, flirty. Maybe trying to spice things back up in love. Okay, what other messages are there for Taurus? Okay, we have someone deciding to make some type of decision very soon, okay? So it's time to make some type of decision in love. Um, clearly decide what it is that you want. So what you want comes to you quickly, okay? So you have to make the decision, okay? Give me one more message for Taurus. Ooh, that's too many. Like seven of those like flew out. Okay. Give me one more message for there we go. All right. And we have forgiving and learning. Okay. So maybe there's someone that you want to ask for forgiveness or vice versa. Maybe there's a lesson that was learned from the situation or is getting ready to be learned. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. And I want to pull a few cards on this, okay. Yeah, see, we have you guys needing to free yourself from a situation. Someone needs to free themselves. Um, and it's time to take back control of your life. Someone needs to free themselves from something. Please give me clarifiers for Taurus. If you guys hear some noise in the background, I have my windows up and there's people passing by. But let's see. Please give me some clarifiers for Taurus, please. Please give me some clarifiers for Taurus. Ooh, please give me some clarifiers for Taurus. I feel like you want to make some final decision to end something, okay? Or you're waiting for something to be over. You're waiting for someone to make a final decision to end something. Kind of the same cards kind of are coming out. Okay. For the past energy, I feel like you guys are have tried to accept the situation and continue to move forward. But I feel like some of you guys kind of like, ooh. Maybe there could have been... Um, cause we got this Empress card and the Seven of Swords. And the devil, very icky energy, and the two of pentacles. Maybe there could have been some juggling in the past. Somebody could have been juggling in the past as well, and you accepted it. And right now, presently, you're trying to make a decision um, on whether to start fresh 
and walk away from a situation and start new. Um, and moving forward, we have forgiving and we have forgiving and learning. So it's kind of like out of the blue, someone possibly apologizes um, and tries to run back or uh, this could be vice versa. OK, but you've been watching someone or someone's been watching you um, and someone is hurt by something that they saw or something that someone is telling them. But I'm most definitely picking up on there could possibly be third party energy. Yeah, there's like possibly like a breakup and someone wants somebody but someone wants possibly wants to um, walk away from a situation here because of something that they saw. And they want some type of apology. They want some type of uh, acknowledgement. Okay, so it looks like you guys are possibly going to have to make some type of decision soon, most definitely. Because someone has plenty of options here. And it could be you. Um, and you possibly were looking for something fresh and new with this Ace of Wands. And maybe you were planning to walk away from an old situation and start something new. But at the same time, your guard is kind of up. Okay. So that's what messages I have for you guys in love, all right? So if these messages resonated, guys, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe if you're new. And if you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is in the drop box below. It should come up somewhere across the screen as well, all right? So until next time, my bullheaded, <laughs> ciao for now.